Hi guys and welcome back to another episode with me Gamerlad and today we're going to be doing another Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to be changing wall colours on your house. So to start off with, the reason I'm doing this is we have not long decorated our house and I used this feature um, to sit down with the wife and help choose what paint colours we wanted on our wall and I also thought it may be useful to others. Now this isn't my house, it's just an image I got from Google. I just went onto Google Images and typed in house interior and this was the first one that I saw with white walls and I thought it could do with a lick of paint. So what I want to do is make a selection of these walls. Now I am going to use the pen tool. You can use whatever tool you want. For me, I am going to use the pen tool. So I'll go over to my left hand side, click the pen tool, there we go. Or you can just use a hotkey, the letter P. And I'm going to zoom into my photograph so that I can see the wall a lot better. Now, I'm going to click in each corner of the wall, like so. You see, you've got this light in above and you can't really see the edge. But, so if I go straight up to here and down there and across, there we go, we've got that selection now. So what I want to do is right click anywhere on the line and create uh, selection so I'll click on make selection and I'm going to feather the radius by half a pixel uh, as I don't want it to carry over onto the ceiling and I don't want it to carry below onto the fireplace onto the marble fireplace okay as you can see we've now got our wall selected so what I want to do now is make an adjustment layer so if I come down to the bottom right hand side this contrast circle is the adjustment layer icon if you click on that you can click hue and saturation another way to get onto the hue saturation layer is to go up to the top and click on layer and then down to new adjustment layer and then across and down to hue saturation I'll click on that and just brings up uh, here I'm just going to leave it as hue saturation 1 and click OK so now on that selection I have a mask as you can see over here on the right hand side if I hold alt and click on that mask it will show me what the selection is and that is my wall so if I click off that if I hold control or command and click it will make the selection for me again and click off that so now I've got my hue and saturation layer selected what I want to do is click on colorize as you can see it has made the wall pink but it's also kept in the highlights from the window now the reason I want to click colorize is because if I just start to change the color of the wall as you can see, the it will only change the hue of the colour that is already present. Now, in this case, this wall here is white, so there is no colour. Um, well, there is, but there's every colour in the spectrum combined. So, when I'm trying to change the hue, there is no one standout colour to, to change. So, click Colorize and that gives a whole wall uh, a base colour and enables me to get all the wall as one colour. So what I want to do now is choose a colour for my wall and I think we'll go with a subtle blue colour and bring the saturation down you can bring it right up for a very bright colour if you bring it down and have it like a duck egg blue whatever you want to call that colour and that's that that is the wall coloured now as you can see up here in the top left hand corner I have gone across where the light shows so what I will do with that area there is just choose my brush tool up to the top brush selector and choose a small soft brush click onto my layer mask and then make sure that I have black colour 
as my choice because anything black as you can see I'm drawing it's making that color invisible so control or command and Z or Z for the Americans to so take it back and what I want to do is I want to change the flow right down to about 30% and then if I slowly go across here as you can see I get my light back so there you have it I will do another wall just to show you again so I'm going to select my pen tool or click or press P and I'm going to draw around this wall here I'm using my mouse today as my tablet I've still not replaced it but not to worry go around that cushion and just click on the corners of the stairs the corner up to the top you get the circle icon which means you're about to close your loop click there again right click and make a selection keep it at 0.5 pixels and OK and the same again I want to click adjustment layer hue saturation colorize and now I want the color to be the same as this wall so one way of doing it because as you can see my eye droplets are grayed out and I can't use them so what I can do is I can go onto the layer below and I can check the color it's 204 hue with a 15 saturation go back up to the top by clicking these little chart icons here and I can change the hue to 204 and the saturation was 15 as you can see we have now got the same color on that wall as we have this wall I zoom out and there we go there is your room with blue walls and you can do that any color you can and if you want to change the color at any point you just simply in this right section here where you've got your layers you just double click on the layer that you wish to change so you could call these like for example layer um, fireplace wall and then you could call this back wall I'm presuming this door is at the front you know the settee is facing the front of the room so that's the back wall so if you double click on the layer you wish to change and you can just change it so if so we wanted uh, like a, a very light lilac color 251 and 10 I can then transfer that over to my top layer 251 with a 10 saturation and then close properties as you can see we've changed the walls to purple and you can do that for anything it doesn't have to be a wall you can change most things that way and keep the highlights as you can see we've got the glow from the floor onto the walls we've got the glow from the window and um, you can change absolutely anything you can change colors of uh, furniture like i could change this settee to red i could change this puffet to now I'll, I'll go ahead and show you that actually so again pen tool click on the corner corner now I'm just going to rush this ever so slightly because I don't want the video to go on and on you know I've shown you the basics of it now this is just a quick example so make selection okay adjustment layer hue saturation colorize and let's say we want that um, like a darker purple to complement the walls I mean you can have it really um, like a toy colour if you want like so and you can even change the, the lightness of it if it's in a darker area of the room if you're lighting it it tends to look unrealistic but if you darken it it brings out the detail in the stitching in the fabric a bit more so there we have it I could do the same with the settee so I have lilac walls and violet furniture so 
I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it's been of use for you. And just thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. If you've got any requests on Photoshop tutorials, just please leave a message down in the comment section below. And don't forget to like if you've liked this video. And if you'd like to see more Photoshop tutorials or gaming videos, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.